Ego claims that this is the most powerful blower in the industry, including gas. But is it really? Stick around and we'll find out. Guys, my name is Tyler. Welcome to another edition of The Lawn Review. If you're already a subscriber, thank you so much. We're having an absolute blast with you guys. If you're not a subscriber yet and you want to learn a little bit more about lawn care, plant care, and the right tools for the job, make sure you hit that subscribe button. About a month ago, we put out a Ryobi backpack sprayer video review. And in that video, we had a giveaway contest for a $100 gift card to Home Depot. All you had to do was like, comment, and subscribe. You had to comment with your favorite uh, lawn care brand. Finally so selected a winner, uh, Quarantine Workout Jams, which is hilarious. Um, we've selected you guys as the winner. All you got to do is DM us on Twitter or Instagram. We'll get in contact with you and figure out a way to get you that Home Depot gift card. Congrats. Guys, we're running a similar giveaway with this video. All you got to do is like, comment, and subscribe on this video, and you'll be entered into a chance to win this Ego blower that we're reviewing today. Brand new. Guys, before we put this head to head against one of the most powerful handheld gas blowers in the game, the Still BG86C, let's do a little unboxing. See exactly what comes in this box, what you can expect when you buy this from your local Ace or Lowe's or Amazon or whatever, what comes in the box. Let's dive in and see what's under the hood. First time I've opened this. A little flared nozzle, it's like the, uh, the tapered nozzle. Just the normal nozzle with that nice 765 CFM reminder. World's most powerful handheld blower. It's not saying the world's most powerful electric, it's saying the world's most powerful. Nice brushless Ego blower motor. A shoulder strap if it gets too heavy. A charging base. The battery itself. and the user manual. Make sure you like, subscribe, and comment to this channel, and this could be yours. We're gonna talk about my top four favorite features on the Ego 56 volt, 765 CFM, 200 mile per hour electric handheld blower, which is versatility, battery life or runtime, ease of use, and power. It's morphin' time. Mastodon, Pterodactyl, Triceratops, Ego blower. All right, guys, I mean. Obviously, my favorite feature to this blower is the power. I mean, 760 CFMs, 200 miles per hour, of course, duh. But next behind that is versatility. There are so many different ways you can operate this blower, it's not even funny. I mean, first and foremost, variable speed trigger. So, and honestly, you can tell it's got a lot of power there. It's blowing my arm back. But this is about 280 CF CFMs. It's about 580 CFMs. So you can really control exactly how much you're blowing. I mean, I'm completely notorious for ruining gardening beds. My wife has almost killed me a couple times because I've blown out the mulch or knocked over some pots or broken stems on her delicate little plants. And if I'm just putting the trigger down a little bit, I can really control just how much airflow is leaving the nozzle tip. So for me, it's an actual lifesaver. And another versatility element to this blower is the cruise control knob. You can really hone in just exactly how hard the blower and how much battery you use when you've got this thing on cruise control. Again, really light. And the CFMs, again, vary just like they do with the trigger, about 280 CFMs to about 580. And obviously there's this little turbo button. which gives you 760 CFMs, industry leading. 
So you've obviously got versatility in how much air is leaving the blower with the variable speed trigger, but you've also got versatility in the way air leaves the blower, which is really great. Right out of the box, you could, you've got this tapered nozzle, so you can really give a direct concentrated stream of air. You can leave it wide open, take that nozzle off, or they actually give this flared flat nozzle as well. So three different options. And I've actually seen online people removing this and there's a little stubby one as well that you can use to like dry your car or something like that. So even more options online. Guys, I tried to get my wife to use this as a hair dryer as well because I can guarantee you this is stronger than her hair dryer as well. I've waited upwards of 75 minutes for her hair to dry and I guarantee you this thing would hammer that job. Another one of my favorite features to this blower is the five amp hour battery that comes standard with this. Ego claims that you're gonna get 90 minutes on average of runtime where the standard job for me is about 25 minutes, 30 minutes tops, unless it's mid fall and I'm cleaning up about a thousand leaves from these guys. But otherwise, 90 minutes is way more than enough on average. But obviously I'm gonna put that to the test. I'm gonna test how long this battery will run on full turbo on the highest setting of the cruise control, which is about 580 CFMs, and then the lowest setting on the cruise control as well. So we'll get really get a good average for you. All right guys, so for the battery test on full turbo, I've got a fully charged battery. I'm gonna zip tie the turbo button down and see how long it runs. guys it's 9 53 and it the battery is dead so it ran about 17 minutes on full turbo got another charged up battery it's 12 53 let's hit up that high speed cruise control setting see how long that one lasts all right guys so as you can see it's 120 and the battery is already dead that's pretty surprising so that was about 25 minutes on full blast uh, cruise control. All right guys, third and final runtime test. Another fully charged battery. We're gonna put this thing on the lowest cruise control setting. And uh, yep, see how long it runs. I have a feeling my neighbors are gonna get pretty annoyed this afternoon because I think this one's gonna be going for a while. All right, guys, finally kicked the bucket. It's about been about two hours and 20 minutes or about 140 minutes. Well, that checks out. Guys, let's dive into ease of use of this Ego 56 volt blower. How does it feel when you're using it? Does it feel heavy? Does it feel light? Um, what's the user experience like? Does it feel sturdy? Does it feel like it's gonna give out on you? Let's dive in and look at that as well. Guys, I don't think you can get a whole lot easier to use than an electric blower these days, especially cordless. All you do is just pick up the battery, plug it in and go. So that's really great. I mean, super easy to use, but also it's really light. It's about 12.2 pounds, just as heavy as my gas blower, maybe a little bit lighter. So it's not gonna wear your arm out or your shoulder out or forearm after a long day of blowing out leaves. But honestly, some of those other versatility elements that I spoke about previously honestly impact the ease of use positively. So it makes it really easy not to tear up landscaping or you know, get too out of control on you. You really have pretty good control of how much air is flowing out. But honestly, one of the most important things to me when I'm going to buy an electric piece of equipment is how does it feel? Honestly, a lot of electric stuff can feel pretty cheap to me, but if I closed my eyes and held this blower, I would feel love, but I would also feel sturdy, like rigid, very strong construction. Um, it doesn't feel like a cheap, you know, electric blower. It feels like gas, but it's also got this nice rubber handle so you don't uh, wear out your hand or your grip or develop a blister of any kind. You can also easily check out how much battery life you have left in your job by clicking this button. Uh, it shows you exactly where you're at in terms of charge. So there's no guesswork in terms of how much uh, runtime you have left on your battery. All right, all right, all right, power. Everyone wants to know about power. How powerful is it? Really powerful. This super high efficiency brushless motor packs a serious punch. I mean, I feel like it was just yesterday they had the 
580 or 560 CFM, all of a sudden they got 765. What in the world? But I've used both and this is a step up. Honestly, I think I might tell Ego, hey, we're good here. We can live at 760. Just gotta be a little gentle with that turbo button. Before we dive too far into the power specs of this Ego 56 volt blower, let's determine what do we even mean when we talk about CFM or miles per hour? What does that mean? So real quick and easy. Miles per hour, if you've ever driven in a car, you know what that means. Miles per hour, MPH. CFM means cubic feet per minute. And that is a measure of how much air is coming from the blower. Miles per hour speed, cubic feet per minute, how much? So both are really important when you look at a blower. But typically, they're inversely related. So the more speed you have, the less cubic feet per minute you have, usually. The more cubic feet per minute you have, the less speed or miles per hour you have, usually. As you can see, this Ego blower is on the higher end of both of those categories. Pretty unique. I'm seriously, I'm, I'm excited about the future of electric blowers. I mean, I can't even imagine. I, I, 50 years from now, they will be able to take us to the moon. All right, so we've determined it's super powerful, really powerful electric blower. But how does it stand up against gas? How does it stand up against some of the legends like Husqvarna or steel or things like that? Let's find out. All right, guys, now the moment you've all been waiting for, how does this Ego 56 760 CFM blower stand up against one of the best in the game, the still BG86C? Let's check it out. If you'd have told me six months ago I'd be in the backyard comparing the strength of two blowers with a wiffle ball, I would have called you crazy. But here we are. If I wasn't giving this thing away, I'd keep it for myself and throw that steel in the trash can. I'm not joking. Guys, I think you can clearly tell from this review that I'm super impressed by the Ego 56 volt 765 CFM 200 mile per hour blower. Obviously crushed every single test I put it through. Some of the key things I like most about this blower are obviously the power, versatility, ease of use and the runtime or battery life. Guys, thanks so much for checking out this week's video. If you liked what you saw, make sure you hit that like button. Uh, if you're already a subscriber, thank you so much. We're having a blast with you guys, getting to interact with you guys in the comment section. If you're not a subscriber and you wanna learn a little bit more about lawn care, plant care, and the right tools for the job, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Also, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe on this video to be entered into a chance to win this exact blower. Thanks again, keep cutting, we'll see y'all again.